the first person who ever spoke about football to me was my dad, uh, football fan, a uh, fan of football. Sorry, um, he played football not professional, and I think the fact that I made it was a big achievement for him. Really proud moment for him, uh, and probably how I have to hone him like uh, everything I am today because he's the one who took me first into football. So, yeah. Uh, I had two at the same time. Uh, the first one I opened was uh, AC Milan, and the second one was uh, Inter Milan. So uh, I don't even know. They were not coming from the same person, same person, and uh, and yet you know it's uh, it's called destiny. And um, yeah, that was my two first shots. Uh, first football club is uh, was Paris, and it's still Paris at the at the minute. Uh, I love the club at the time where. Uh, Bernard Lama, French goalkeeper, Rai, uh, Valdo, all those uh, Brazilian players. And now because Paris is, uh, is the best team in, um, in France, so um, yeah, Paris. Uh, at the stadium was um, Bordeaux against um, Auxerre, I think. Uh, and there were players, I think, who played in the city, Kiki Musampa. Uh, one of my favorite players and uh, he scored that, 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 that game and that was my first uh, ever game at the uh, stadium in Bordeaux uh, because my, my dad is a, is a fan of, uh, of Bordeaux so um, yeah that was my first, first game. So I, I would say professional because if it wasn't professional I would say my dad as he, he was playing football. Uh, but as a football uh, player, I will go for a player who used to play for Paris, a Brazilian guy. Uh, he was number 10 and his name was uh, Valdo, so his full name was Candido Filo Valdo. He was just amazing and uh, small, curly hair like me when I was younger, so I, I guess that's, that's why uh, I liked him. When I was playing, my dad was my, my coach. Um, we lost the game. I was probably one of the good players of the team. I didn't do enough, so we got home and he just, <laughs> he just killed me in front of everyone. And, uh, and, and that day is the, the only time when I said to my friend I wanted to stop playing football. But he only lasted like two minutes and then I was on the board again. So uh, yeah, that's the first time I remember. It's funny enough, but I used to score a lot of goals. Uh, and one of my first goals was a uh, uh, left-footed volley top corner. But that's a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, first club was uh, La Sersoise, where my dad used to play. Uh, he was my coach, he was a player there. Uh, my little brother played there now, and uh, not later than two months ago, I was with them, you know, for one day, uh, and they're having like a small tournament, games for the, for the kids. So, uh, as much time as I have uh, when I'm in Toulouse, I try to, uh, to go and see them if it's during the season. Uh, and it's always good because it reminds you uh, where you came from, where you start, where you started to play football, and it's always uh, good because the kids are really happy. Striker, uh, but then I went from striker <laughs> to number 10 <laughs> to center midfield <laughs> to center back and left back. So he goes uh, from very good to being good, but then not good enough to be up there. <laughs> the first time I realized I could be a professional footballer, I always wanted to be a football player. Uh, if I'm honest, I never really um, got to the point of where football could take me. But the day I realized is when I signed for Arsenal, uh, because before I was, you know, football school. But then when you reach the level of football school, you know you have another better school that you want uh, you want to get to. Then you get to this one, and then the next objective is to sign for a professional team. Uh, and then when you sign for a professional team, you're not professional yet. Uh, and it's only when you sign your first contract that you realize that you you can be a professional. And that was the case for me. So when I signed my first contract with uh, Arsene Wenger at Arsenal.